Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Maka here showing you a super cool and super fun Easter egg in Dying Light. I'm showing you Super Mario Easter egg along with the Paisa suit. Now in Old Town in Sector Zero, this is about halfway through the game. You'll have to actually use like the sewer system and progress through the story to get to this part of the map. I'll show you exactly where I am. As you enter Old Town, if you just head directly south from there, or if you're looking at the general map, if you go to the southwest corner uh, on top of the buildings, that's where I am right now, you will find a chimney. And then if you look in that chimney, you should see a green pipe that should look familiar to you from Super Mario. Now you're going to hold X to pull it, and then you'll get a new prompt, uh, and, and you'll be able to press the button in order to actually go inside. Now, what do you get for going inside? You get a super cool Easter egg, but on top of that, you also get a blueprint, but I'll, I'll kind of talk about as, that as I go. You'll have these enemies in front of you, these little ones. For them, you can just kind of sprint through them. Watch out, they do push you off a little bit. You'll hop over four of these pipes, and here we go. After the fourth pipe, we're going to actually find a secret block, which is actually available in the original NES version of Super Mario. Uh, four blocks from the jump. Just line yourself up, look up. If you jump, the pink cube will come up. You're gonna go on top of it and you're gonna find a blueprint. Now for the purpose of this video, I'll be calling it the Pizza Suit. I believe it's pronounced the Pizza Suit um, based on the fact that Techland is a Polish developer and the word Pizza is actually a Polish word for a potato dumpling. Bear with me here, guys. Um, watch out for that exploding dude. Make sure you don't jump across, let him explode, and then you can continue forward. Now, unfortunately, you might get caught, you might fall off. If you fall off into the water below, you will die, spawn back at the beginning of this area. Uh, what else do you get for doing this? Like I said, you get a super cool um, Easter egg, and at the very end, you also get some experience points towards, I believe, your agility skill, which is pretty useful. It helps you level stuff up. Now, if you get caught in between two of those uh, high beams like I just did there, unfortunately, your only option is to jump off the edge and restart at the very beginning. If you do restart after uh, having uh, pressed that pink cube, it should still be there. There will be nothing on top of it this time if you've already picked up the blueprint. I'll be talking about the Paisa or Pizza suit in a second here after we get through the level and we talk about what's going on. Again, watch out for the exploding dude. He will kill you um, and you have nowhere to go other than back if he does see you. Um, continue forward, watch your step, make sure you're running in a, in a straight line, you can jump off the edges, so you're going to want to watch out for that. Uh, at this part, you're going to want to watch out and just make sure you clear this area, not like me the first time where I fell in. You're going to have a second one of those where you want to make sure you clear the gap. And you're going to continue forward, watch out for these guys over the pipe. And this is actually the original, this is the exact replica level of the uh, Super Mario World 1-1. You're going to jump towards the flag, grab onto the flag, watch out for the fireworks, as you normally get. And then if you progress forward and jump into the pipe ahead of you, you will spawn back out in the Dying Light world, uh, along with a little bit of ag extra agility and hopefully the blueprint. So I'll show you the blueprint. It is for basically a flying or gliding suit. It is pretty awesome. It is it is one of the cooler blueprints in the game. It's very unique. It takes a decent amount of crafting tools to actually put together. The most rare of the four items on that list is probably going to be string. Um, so you're going to probably have to get a lot of string. You can do that by like sleeping and then talking to Quartermaster and just repeating that cycle. But it still takes a while. Eventually, once you get all the ingredients you're going to need, so alcohol, string, um, duct tape, and something else, you can craft it. It'll go into your inventory. It's going to take up one of your equipment slots. So if you have a grappling hook and this suit, that's going to be two things that are just for mobility. So I don't know if you're going to want both of them, but you can equip this suit. You're going to have to actually select it. And then when you jump and hold the left trigger, you will glide. Now the glide is not an infinite glide. You can't glide from like the tallest, um, you know, spot in the game and glide across the entire map. But the glide is actually pretty useful. It actually does let you glide a decent amount. If you let go of the left trigger at any point while you're gliding, you'll just fall straight down. So it's a little bit dangerous. If you're not careful, you can fall off the side of a building or whatever using it. And here I'll be showing you a little bit of more gameplay with it. Um, I highly recommend this suit just for the fact that it's cool. And honestly, if you're going to be playing a game, you want to enjoy the most unique aspects of the game. This is definitely one of them. And I highly recommend you grab the suit, enjoy that Easter egg, and glide around the map for a bit. 
Thank you guys for watching. If you found this useful, you can share it with your friends. You can hit that like button if you like the video, and you can also subscribe if you love the video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.